Welcome to part 1 of the Game Ramble Steam Next Phase Roundup for October 2022. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by... No or Mrs. Cloud. So once again, the Steam is hosting its celebration of upcoming games with hundreds of demos to try out. Goody goody. <laughs> yeah, Next Phase started on the 3rd of October and will continue until the 10th, giving players an opportunity to get some hands-on time with their most anticipated games. Mm. And as with the previous Team Next Fest, the Game Ramble team has been hard at work browsing through what is available and checking out all the titles that stand out the most to us. Mm. But obviously with so many demos on offer, it's impossible to try out everything. But we have here 10 of the titles that I personally think players will really enjoy. Mm. Of course, this is by no means a definitive list and there are plenty of other great demos. So be sure to let us know which ones you really liked and which ones have got you hyped for their release. So without further ado, here's my Steam Next Phase selection in alphabetical order. Cool. Looking forward to seeing what you picked. <laughs> okay, so first up I've got Double Shake. It's developed and published by Rightstick Studios. And Double Shake is a 2.5D platformer, which the developers say was inspired by some of their favorite fifth generation games. Now, for those who are not old enough to remember the fifth generation, it was the one that was dominated by the Sony PlayStation, along with the Nintendo 64, and to a lesser extent, the Sega Saturn. So, as you can see here, the influence of games such as Mischief Makers, Klonoa, and Tomba is immediately obvious, and players take control of a character named Loam, so they must help her as she investigates and grapples with the ensuing chaos that threatens to toss her humble little island into total disorder. Mm -hmm. Cool. What, what make you pick this one? Well, like the developers, I was also a big fan of the fifth generation of consoles. I had a PlayStation and I played a lot of these you know, 2.5D platformers, so obviously it holds some nostalgic value for me as well. Just the art style brings back a lot of memories of those games and mm. also a fan of platform games, so yeah, it's just a nice mix of the two. Looks um, like there's a lot of humor in the game as well, if you look at the... Yeah, I mean, that game. was, you know, the fifth generation was like the wild west of 3D games. Anything goes, everything was just trying mm -hmm. all kinds of different styles and genres and things. So I think uh, this is probably going to be something like that, where they just go wild and have this imaginative adventure. Awesome. But yeah, um, Double Shake is going to be launching in 2023. Cool. So I really look forward to playing the full game and seeing how it measures up against my memories of those games. <laughs> up next, I've got Dredge. It's developed by Black Salt Games and published by Team 17. And Dredge is a single-player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. Players get to captain a fishing trawler and explore a collection of remote islands and their surrounding depths. The goal is to catch fish to sell to the locals and complete quests to learn more about each area's troubled past. Players can outfit and upgrade their boat with better equipment, but danger lurks everywhere thanks to sharp rocks, shallow reefs, and whatever it is that lurks within the fog that cloaks the nighttime seas. Mm -hmm. I can see why you picked this one. You're a big fan of fishing in games, so this it seems very suitable. Yeah, I'm immediately drawn to anything that features mm -hmm. fishing. Usually it's a mini game in other bigger titles, but I've also really enjoyed some standalone fishing games like Fishing Paradiso and so on. Mm -hmm. And this one is like that, but I also like the sinister angle of it. Mm. You know, that you've got this weird fog and mm. all kinds of mysterious happenings going on. So it just adds a whole different dimension to the game, I think. Yeah. You can have to keep an eye on the time and, mm. you know, micromanage what you have in your hold and what you need to upgrade next and so on. It's an interesting art style and color palette. Yeah, I like that. It's like bleak and weird and gloomy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Very really, cool. really looking forward to this one. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be launching in 2023. Oh, awesome. Okay, so up next I've got Gunbrella. It's developed by Dorksoft and published by Devolver Digital. And Gunbrella is a noir punk adventure that is set in a world dependent on a rapidly diminishing natural resource. Okay. So player character is actually a gruff woodsman on a quest for revenge. And his weapon of choice is the mysterious Gunbrella. 
So there's this firearm that can double as an umbrella. You can use it for things like gliding, and swinging, and dashing, and diving. Mm -hmm. So the developers say Gunbrella is going to feature plenty of action with a focus on maneuverability and close quarters gunplay. So players will tangle with everyone from ghouls and gangsters to cops and cultists. Mm -hmm. I do like the creative use of the Gunbrella in this. You can use it as both a, yeah, like there where it's... Yeah, there's like so many uses for it. It assists with your jumping and you can really parkour all over the place with it and use it as a shield and zip line and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I'm a big platformer fan, big retro fan, and this just looks like it's going to add something new to that formula. Yeah, looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. So Gunbrella is going to be launching in 2023 as well. Awesome. My next pick is Illwill. This one is developed and published by Slava Bushev. And it's a first-person shooter that mixes together Doom, Quake, Blood, Serious Sam and a bit of madness for a bloody cocktail of all-out action. Mm -hmm. So this game is going to feature dozens of monsters and it fills up its breathtaking locations with hundreds of them. But fortunately players will have a variety of weapons at your disposal, from a double barrel shotgun to a soul ripper. This game runs on the Unreal Engine 4 and it promises polished gameplay contains all the best of old school shooters. Really cool. You know, I've got a soft spot for a weakness for shooters, so this really looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm also a big shooter fan, but I tend to, you know, side more the retro side of things and when they mentioned Doom, Quake, Blood, Series and all of that, I sold. <laughs> was immediately sold on this. And the game is very fast and very fluid. So it's got that old school speed and style, but mix it up with some modern visual touches as well. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun to play. I know it's single player, so not really your preferred um, shooter style, but I had a lot of fun checking out the demo. Yeah, yeah so it will be releasing on the 1st of December 2022. So players will actually be able to get their hands on this one this year still. Just in time for Christmas. Definitely. Add it to your Christmas wish list if you're a first-person shooter fan. Okay, so my next choice is Paper Cut Mansion. This one is developed by Space Lizard Studio and it's published by Thunderful Publishing. And Paper Cut Mansion is a papercraft roguelite where players get to explore a mysterious mansion floor by floor. Okay. So there are puzzles to solve, enemies to battle, and a quest to complete while unlocking new abilities. The protagonist you see there, Toby, is actually a police detective. So each run gives players the opportunity to collect another piece of evidence to add to his evidence board. Wow, that's really cool, these paper cutouts. Yeah, the whole style of game is like this really cardboard papercraft style. <laughs> The game features permadeath, but the mechanics are being designed for high replayability and players can customize their equipment before each run to shape their own playstyle. And from what I've heard, the game will have 27 different possible endings to wrap up the tale. So there's really going to be incentive to explore and replay this one. It's like a story behind it all. <laughs> yeah. So once again, I probably don't have to explain why I picked this one. You know, I if there's any mysterious spooky mansion to be explored, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> and I'm also a big roguelite fan. So this is just a nice combination of that. And obviously this uh, paper craft visuals doesn't hurt either. Yeah, that's really unique. Looks like the puzzles will also be cool. Yeah, just a brief bit I played already had some interesting puzzles where you really have to, you mm. know, open just. up stuff and flip them around and mm. search behind them. So they really make full use of this paper craft aesthetic. Really cool. Also got chased around by a ghost for a bit. Mm -hmm. So the game will probably have some horror elements as well, as well yeah, as some pressure. humor, I think. Awesome. Yeah, so Paper Cut Mansion is being listed as releasing in 2022. So hopefully it should also be out before the end of the year. Awesome. So my next pick is Rhythm Sprout. This one is developed by Cert and published by Tiny Bolt as a fast-paced rhythm action game with original music and a wacky story mode. 
So to succeed in this one, players must step to the rhythm and fight to the beat. Okay. And all the music has been crafted exclusively for the game with creative beat maps in mind. And it goes together with the unique and detailed 3D environments. The music themes are also inspired by different genres, so players can expect everything from EDM and K-pop to drum and bass, disco, lo-fi, hip-hop, metal, and much more. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, and it's just really fun. I mean... Yeah, I'm also a fan of rhythm games. Yeah, big fan of rhythm games. And this one is like unique. It's just not, you know, the perspective is a little bit different from the typical mm. side-scrolling stuff. And just the fact that your character is busy strolling here that you have to match to the beat. <laughs> You'll see now when you go into combat as well. It's like turn-based battle style, but you do it in rhythm style where you do ah, okay. attack and dodge <laughs> to win the battles. Very cool, but a bit distracting, but cool. <laughs> no, it's, it's really fun. When Once you get into the zone, it mm -hmm. feels very intuitive. Awesome. Yeah, and in addition to the story mode, which uh, the bit I played is very wacky, players can also mix different level modifiers such as turbo mode, mirror mode and much more. And the game will actually feature unlockable outfits for Sprout as well as skins for his weapon. Mm -hmm. cool. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Mm -hmm. And Rhythm Sprout is releasing in early 2023. Awesome! Now back to the dark and gloomy again with Soul Dead. Mm -hmm. This one is developed and published by Heathen Software. And Soul Dead is a fast-paced dark fantasy first-person shooter with a modern take on the gameplay. Okay. So story-wise, in this one you play as a character who has been dead for 200 years before someone called the Messiah of Hell came and took with him the last piece of your evil dead soul. Mm. So you basically get up and go after him mm. and then fight all these monsters and creatures that stand in your way. Mm. So the game has a great deal of emphasis on action and exploration and players actually fight horizontally and vertically. Okay. It's like parts where you can use these jump pads and grab hold on things and get some verticality and slam down on enemies, mm. which is a lot of fun. And Soul Dead will have beautiful environments full of secret locations as players explore an ancient dark castle, destroy hordes of enemies in Rome and even visit Victorian England. So I think there's going to be some time traveling elements involved as well. Cool. And it also promises never seen before weapons such as the Paladin's Heart and Holy Cross. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to seeing what those do. Because yeah, in the demo, I've only tried out this wand that you see here. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see it. That, oh, cool. Yeah, that's the jumping that I was talking about. And you can also then slam down on your enemies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as soon as you encounter the enemies, this uh, soundtrack kicks in and all out action very cool I like it it's also once again a first person shooter but leaning more towards the old school style of gameplay yeah. which i'm a big fan of mm. and without a gun with weird weapons too. well the uh, wand and stuff i think everyone who has played games such as hexen and heretic will have no problem wielding a wand mm -hmm. they know how destructive it can be mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no release date for Soul Dead has been announced yet, so oh, okay. we'll have to add this one to the wishlist and hope Keep it releases sometime soon. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Definitely. Next up, I've got The Night Witch. This one is developed by Super Mega Team and published by Team 17, and it's a Metroidvania adventure game with fast paced shoot em up combat. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this one is set in a beautiful hand-drawn world where players can tailor the game to their level of play, so it's going to be very accessible. Mm. And there are plenty of evil foes to encounter and players can choose whether to wield their magic or use weapons and wits to take down these enemies. Mm. Players can customize their own unique playstyle by upgrading their knight's abilities and you get a more fast-paced schmuck experience. Or alternatively, you can strengthen your witch's magic and explore tons of different deck-building strategies mm. with over 30 unique spell cards to choose from mm -hmm. so yeah once again it's uh, probably no mystery why i picked this one yeah no you do like big fan of shoot em ups mm -hmm. and this one just has that vibrant mm -hmm. 2d beautiful art style that immediately drew my attention mm -hmm. i'm used to seeing vehicles or planes or things in shoot em ups this is cool having a 
which yeah well i've around. played a lot of titles where you play as flying witches so this is nothing new to me <laughs> uh all the way back to the cotton series mm -hmm. and there's been plenty of others uh gundamonium and so on mm -hmm. they all like to use uh anime girls as protagonists so yeah but this one you can even hear the music is also you know different from your typical shoot em up it's got this almost classical sound to it really cool yeah i like the pace of the game i like the art style and it was very responsive mm. so definitely looking forward to playing more of the night witch and it's going to be releasing on the 29th of november so oh, not, not too long to wait for this one mm. will probably be one of the first ones on this list that i'm actually going to be playing to completion once it's out mm. awesome Okay, so my next one is Wave Tale. This one is developed by Thunderful Development and published by Thunderful Publishing. And it's a story-driven action adventure where players get to explore an open sea and the decaying archipelago of Strandville. So players take control of Sigrid, a young girl who befriends a mysterious shadow that provides her with the power to walk on water. This is a fast-paced adventure and it sees players speeding through the open sea and swinging between buildings as they experience a heartwarming story about loss and reconciliation. So yeah, this is a bit of a strange one. <laughs> Just from the intro alone, you can see it's set in this weird world where mm. there's also this type of mist or something that's mm. encroaching and everyone is in fear of it. And then you encounter this shadow that basically mirrors all your movements underwater. Okay. So when Sigrid is running there on the water, she's actually stepping on the shadow's oh, feet I was below her. How she pulls that off. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really strange, but quite fun. And eventually you can even surf around on the water, mm -hmm, okay. which is quite neat. That's cool. You'll also be able to customize her appearance with collectible hats and hair dyes and outfits and fill the pages of a scrapbook with special drawings so you can learn more about her world. Ah, oh, awesome. Just looks like a neat yeah. game filled with exploration and mysteries. Mm -hmm. And I'm always partial to a bit of third person action adventuring. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, so the release date for Wavetail is listed as coming soon. Mm -hmm. So we'll okay. have to wait and see when that is. How soon, soon is. Indeed. Hopefully it's soon, soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my last one is probably the weirdest one out of the lot. Mm -hmm. It's called Whalian and it's developed and published by Forbidden Folds. <laughs> now, Whalian is a short adventure based around a focus core mechanic that takes you into a charming world full of little details. Okay. Now, the character that you see there, that's actually not George R. R. Martin, it's Ernest Hemingwell. <laughs> and according to the developers, he's the last remaining person living inside a mechanical whale named Finn. <laughs> Okay. So Ernest has to set out on an adventurous journey through the well when these slimy squiddies show up and start making a mess. Mm -hmm. But luckily Ernest has gloves that can be used to push and pull all kinds of objects and elements in his proximity. And yeah, the whole game is based around this concept. Mm -hmm. So it's just got this vibrant art style, this yeah. really weird <laughs> central character and then, you know, the push-pull mechanics. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're going to use it for wow. all kinds of different puzzles. Mm -hmm. Like in the demo portion I played, I had to pull a battery towards me and then push it into a device to power it. I had to pull a hook and connect it to something to open a door. So yeah, there's a lot of possibilities mm -hmm. for that mechanic. That's cool. But the story itself with the whole mechanical whale and the squiddies, mm -hmm. who knows what's happening there. <laughs> it's just deeply strange, but quite fascinating. Yeah, so Whalian is listed as being released some whale in the future. <laughs> They're punny humor. Yeah, definitely expected no less from any developer that made a game like this. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, so that is my selection of 10 titles and thanks for joining us for the first part of the Game Rambles theme next phase roundup for October 2022. Of course, you should also join us next time for part two. We'll be looking at 10 more demos as selected by you. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've picked for this uh, next fest. Mm, no I'm sure it's going to be quite different from my selection yeah. and I think there's going to be a few surprises in there that mm. I can't wait to see. 
can't wait to share it. <laughs> awesome. Until next time. Awesome. Remember to like, subscribe and share if you enjoy our videos. Bye.